Hello and welcome to Friday Faith Fill Up. I was reading in my Bible in Mark chapter 11, a passage that if you just read by itself, you can left, be left scratching your head just a little bit. But as you read on through the passage, you find that Jesus is making a very interesting point. What happens is Jesus sees this fig tree, comes up to it, and as if he is looking for food, obviously knowing that it's not the season for it to bring forth fruit, but he curses it and it withers and is unable to bring anything uh, forth. But the next day is when the disciples discover this as they are walking that way again. And they question him and they say, Peter says, look at this tree, just as you'd said, it's, it's withered away. In verse number 22, Jesus says this to them, have faith in God. We well, can look at that and you can say, how in the world is that? Uh, anything to do with faith. Well, it shows us the power that Jesus had because of his faith, or could we even say because of his power of being God. And it goes on to say in verse number 23, you can move mountains into the sea and you can accomplish much. And the things that you ask are the things that you're going to receive because of faith, because of that great faith. And it's interesting that it shows the power of God, but it also shows something that's very interesting Something very specific that Jesus said that is using as an illustration. And as I read that, I thought, you know, our prayers many times are very general. They're not real specific. We can pray that God would bless somebody or help somebody or heal somebody or whatever it might be. But ultimately, we're just praying very generally. But we ought to be praying specific, not only specific, something God's really convinced me about uh, recently is when we pray, we should be praying believing with a full faith the kind of faith that we've been looking at uh, at our church lately, the faith that believes something to be so before it is so. And that was exactly what Jesus said to that, that tree. And then later on, we can understand many other uh, examples of faith in the Bible that will show us that. We just had on Wednesday night a prayer request that we were praying for something very specific for one of the members of our church. And lo and behold, what happened, that prayer was answered very specifically on Thursday. We praise the Lord for that. We've got to learn to pray specifically. And hopefully we can just believe God and trust him in that. Well, Lord bless y'all. Hope to see you on Sunday morning.